Hey creative friends, it's Gwen and I am back today with another scrapbooking process video. Today's share is for Coco Vanilla Studios and I'm using their brand new These Days collection. So uh, first page for this collection for me, um, I'm using this photo of Caitlin and what I have done is I've actually edited in my photo software to remove the blue section from the photo. So I've actually turned the whole photo black and white except for the book and the strawberries. Uh, I'm going to be using this cut file from Cut To You and I do have a little bit of a plan for this one uh, and this is it. So photo will go on the left and my large title design will go on the right. I have also gone ahead off camera and created my background the way that I would normally with the frame around the outside edge. So that background green um, spotty printed pattern paper is called Family Ties. And then the frame part is actually the outer edge of the pattern paper called Daybreak. And it's one of those ones that's a mixed media design. And I love those because I don't have to do any hard work creating a mixed media background. I am also going to just attach part of my cut file here. I just want to make sure that it's nice and straight on the background of my page. I don't really have anything to line it up with with this pattern paper. So I am going to be using my T-square ruler and being super careful about the placement of that. If it's off, I'm going to know. Uh, so yeah, I want to be sure that that's nice and straight triple checking and uh, locking that into position. And now I'm going to have a little look through the die cut ephemera pack. As I uh, mentioned before, this is the first layout that I am working with this collection. So I just want to make myself familiar with the with the pieces and um, see what's available there. I'm pulling out elements that I think will work. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I also like to exclude things. I find it very difficult to make choices on my pages. So excluding items is is a really good way to help me to do that. So yeah, quick little sweep of all of those. Oh yes, I also did fussy cut out a couple of the butterfly elements from the Take Flight pattern paper. I love these pattern papers in the collections. We've had a few of them over the last year and a bit and they are fabulous for uh, fussy cutting and using as little elements on your page. There's a lot of butterflies on them um, on that pattern paper and they do go a really long way. It was really funny actually because this collection I did an unboxing for and I did it the day that the collection arrived on my doorstep. I grabbed the box and I raced into the studio and yeah, had a, a really good look at the collection and I was so excited to use it. And then uh, mum life and, and just my regular stuff kind of got in the way and I wasn't able to create for about two weeks. So it sort of sat on in, in this box in my studio and when I pulled it back out again, oh, I was, A, I was so excited to finally get to use it. But I did feel like I needed to sort of go through it a second time and remind myself of all the lovely little elements that are in this collection. There they just are so many and they're all really, really sweet. I decided to draw on the floral elements for this one uh, to go with my fussy cut butterflies. And then I've also added uh, a tab from the die cut ephemera pack. And that one above the photo there says captured. And then the little uh, heart tab that's beside that, that one's actually from the accessory sticker sheet, which uh, these type sentiments are as well. So that sticker sheet has uh, icons at the top, um, circle elements and tabs at the top. And then down the bottom, there are a bunch of really fun type sentiments that you can use on your pages as uh, finishing touches. I'm going to end up using three of those and I'm going to use them in a way that helps draw the eye around the page. So essentially it is a visual triangle, but in this case, uh, the part that's inside the visual triangle is not my photo and normally it is. For this layout, that's I'm going to use the title as the, as the element that's inside the visual triangle. Hope that makes sense. And that's gonna give a, uh, a point of reference and a spot on the page that I can build out my clusters from. 
it's time to add some more dimension to the layout and I'm going to do that using the wooden buttons from the collection. They do come with a foam tape um, backing uh, but I do pull that off. I find that they sit quite high when that backing is attached to them so you can very easily pull that off and then adhere them to the layer with some uh, liquid adhesive. I do end up fussing with those for a little bit actually and I think that's also why I prefer to remove that foam tape. Then they're just loose embellishments and I can audition them all over my page as I see fit. I was just worried about the button being on top of the, the book stack die cut there above the EVE um, text there in my title. For me, it felt like maybe it was covering up too much of the die cut and you couldn't see what it was of. So I do end up moving it more to the left there. You might have noticed too that I'm going with three. So I do end up with my visual triangle, three points on the page. And then to back that up, I'm using three of the wooden buttons and I also use three butterflies. And I find that's a really great way to get a consistent feel across the page. And again, it comes back to the way that the embellishments flow around the page. That's really important to me. When I'm creating, I've really got that in my mind. Things are getting serious because I am gluing stuff down, uh, locking into position some really pretty die cut hearts, which come from the ephemera pack, and that will finish out the layout. So thanks for being here, my creative friends. If you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.